This is my third video in a row about Liberty Falls, and I hate to say it, but there's a good chance I'm going to be focusing pretty heavily on it when the game comes out in less than a week. A quick recap, at COD Next, which took place at the end of August, we were <clears throat> treated to a look at the second on-disc map for Black Ops 6, Liberty Falls. The reception of this map was, in a word, less than ideal. For weeks on end, the hatred and vitriol were at an all-time high when it came to discussions of the game. It didn't help that for over a month, Treyarch went effectively cold turkey when it came to Zombies news. Instead, we retreated to some fairly good-looking campaign stuff and, of course, the multiplayer beta. For Zombies fans, though, we felt a little hung out to dry after riding the highest high we've had in a long time. But that came to an end last week when on the COD Pod, a Call of Duty podcast, my powers of deduction are incredible, we were told that elements such as Liberty Falls, general atmosphere, and the overall design of the Zombies UI were being reworked. These were two of the biggest criticisms levied towards the game after Next and the beta, so seeing them addressed gave a lot of people some hope. On my last video, I advised caution, saying that this didn't mean they were reworking the map to fit all of our desires, but that this was overall a positive change. That catches us up to Thursday, where Treyarch released the launch comms on the COD blog, a blog for Call of Duty. My detective skills remain unmatched. This blog post gave us a veritable deluge of information on several things. Now, in this video, I'll only be covering some of the changes to Liberty Falls and the general UI, and I'll have a second video, hopefully coming out tonight or tomorrow, about everything else in the blog post. First, they do reiterate that we will be getting a third Zombies map before the end of the year. Now, while they don't give us an exact date, I'm still very much in the camp that we will be getting the map either at the end of November in the last week or at the first week of December. Treyarch then launches into some damage control, discussing the changes to Liberty Falls while also showcasing some images to illustrate the change. The first two images showcase some very minor changes to the lighting and skybox, making the map feel less like a midday stroll through suburbia and more like a town brought to ruin by supernatural monsters. Treyarch has left a few things to surprise though, saying that they look, feel, and and sound of Liberty Falls has continued to be worked on to crank up the map's creepiness factor. I'm particularly excited for the, quote, gorier set dressing and environmental audio, end quote, as having more grotesque elements could go a mile in selling the setting. In the next paragraph, we get confirmation of something I've been saying for months. Quote, additional atmospheric elements related to the map's main quest will also be present throughout Liberty Falls as players begin to solve the mysteries waiting for them in the wake of the undead incursion, end quote. This does mean that the map will change as players, well, play it. That's a big deal because it means no matter what Treyarch has done to the base version of the map, we have no idea what's in store by the end of the map. We know the town is still standing 30 years later for Ava to visit it, but that doesn't mean it won't go through hell before we can save it. We did get a handful of full map tours for both Liberty Falls and Terminus, but we're not quite gonna go through all of that right now. I would like to show a handful of images of Liberty Falls' new lighting and atmosphere. The overall design of the map doesn't seem to have changed all that much, if at all, but the map the map just feels so much more like it belongs in this universe. Never doubt how far a good lighting engine can go towards making a game look good. What I'm most interested in though is this image, which seems to showcase a parasite round. The entire map has been bathed in what I will affectionately refer to as walking dead lighting. It genuinely looks creepy as hell, and I do hope I'm wrong. I hope this isn't just the parasite round, but that the map will develop into something more resembling this as we complete the main quest. However, every other screenshot is in a much more neutral state, though the clouds of purple lightning do a lot to pull away from that feeling of Liberty Falls being an imported multiplayer map. Now, Treyarch has taken more than just Liberty Falls into account with a redesign of the HUD, the other most requested change. This image is a list of changes they claim to have made, most notably character portraits and gobblegum reward animations being added. Otherwise, it's pretty much exactly what I said last week with a general tightening of the UI. That said, they have added sliders to reduce or even remove certain elements of the HUD or game overall. It's not quite the customization we were expecting, and I don't exactly blame people for feeling a little lied to after expecting to be able to completely customize certain features and elements of their UI. But for me personally, it just feels Feels like kind of a miscommunication that Treyarch's now doing their best to honor. That said, I am gonna go ahead and pull up some images of both the originally advertised HUD and the new HUD side by side.
You go ahead and try to tell me which is which without looking it up. It's this one, by the way. It looks better, but I can't really explain how. I truly am one of the YouTubers of our time. Now, I was also going to go over the augments and other elements in the blog post today, but I have already delayed this video long enough, and I'd like to get something out for you guys. So I've decided to split this video into two parts. Naturally, this is the first part. What are you, fucking stupid? And the second will be much longer, going over the gameplay reveals and what I think. Sorry it has to be this way, but I do write, edit, and produce all of my own videos, so it does take me a minute. For now, though, I am gradually getting more excited for Black Ops 6. They've been doing a lot to really recapture that initial feeling we had after the first couple of trailers. I hope you're excited too, and I hope that you do subscribe to see part two going over the augments, gobblegums, and all other features in the blog post. Other than that, remember to be gay, do crimes, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.